It was Malcolm's assassination that was the motivation behind Huey and Bobby's plan to start the Black Panther Party. They didn't want to go another day without fighting for what was right, protecting their communities, and standing up against police brutality. Huey and Bobby had it right. Brothers led the community. They didn't fight. They fed the children for free. Health care was a necessity. The Black Panthers were a blessing. They taught us so many lessons. Like how to organize and treat one another. Two strong, powerful black brothers. Put Oakland, California on the map. Told all black men, you better stay strapped. Hide your kids, hide your wives. Police brutality is on the rise. It's the number one problem we fight against. So the Black Panther Party for Self-Defense was created in 66. 1966. Huey Newton and Bobby Seale weren't gonna let brothers keep getting killed. They demanded equal rights. They had a clear vision in sight. It only started with two activists, and it grew to 45 chapters. All across America, it was all about the Black Panther Party agenda. Let's go 10-point program. It was necessary for every African American to protect yourself against the Klan. Get your gun, black man. Point one, we want freedom. That's right. We believe black people won't be free until we determine our destiny of our beautiful black communities. Point two. We want full employment for our people. The federal government should make it equal for every man to be employed. And the Black Panther Party was talking about legally employed. Quit dropping those drugs off in our communities, tempting our young black men to go, go out and sell drugs because there aren't any jobs available. J. Edgar Hoover with COINTELPRO. Lucky Luciano. No, you gotta go. Point three, we want an end to the robbery by the capitalists of our black community. Forty acres of two mules were promised a hundred years ago as restitution for the slave labor and mass murder of our people. Point four, we want decent housing fit for the shelter of human beings. Housing fit for kings and queens, boo. Since you supposedly own all this land and you know you wrongfully started it, but that's another story. Um, at least give us some housing we can live in. Point five, Thank we you. want education that teaches us our true history and our role in the present day society. Knowledge of self is most important when it comes to learning. Shout out to Angela Davis for the Head Start program for our babies in the morning. Uh-huh, black queens hold it down. You felt protected when the kings were around. Point six, no black person should be forced to join the military or carry out a plan of a racist government who couldn't understand how to treat black people on their land. No point seven was a message to policemen everywhere.